Okay, we've got the rebuilt compressor. That's the same one that was on here. Um, I didn't have any in stock, so I had to rebuild the one we had that failed. Um, so we make sure these faces are clean on the valves. Uh, get it lifted in. Um, get the connections all bolted up, and then we can do the wiring. Okay, we've got them faces cleaned up. Um, that's the gas, get them come off of there. They, they always come off nice, the metal ones. And they're usually pretty bomb proof for not leaking. So rebuilds come with the paper gaskets. Um, if I had these I'd probably use them, but I've, I'm running a bit low on them. Uh, anyway, let's get that lifted in. Right, I've got that on there. Um, we just uh, torque those up to 25 newton meters. Um, I find if you do it with a torque wrench, you're much less likely to get any leaks because you've got them. Clamping force is equal on both of them. I need to find a shorter adapter to get in there. See what we've got. Right, we've got the compressor bolted down, got the valves uh, done up, capillary lines put back on. Um, so we've got to change the dryer really. Um, so 163, so I'll see what I've got in the van. be enough give on that just to cut it and because uh, it dips down as it comes off of there anyway off the receiver let's see what we can do okay that's the new dryer in there um, might leave that um, I don't think it's got any moisture issues in there it's got to go a whole new refrigerant fresh dryer and oil the compressor so that should be okay. Okay we've got some tracer gas in there and we're just going round leak checking all the connections because we've had previous leaks on this valve a few years back but that coil's still in good nick for something that's probably 30 years old. So we used to build things a bit better then. I think that's paint. I think it used to paint the coils. Anyway, that all looks like okay for something that's 30 years old. Right, I've got a vacuum pump going now. Um, cleaning these threads out with a tap because we've, we've had a screw break in there. That's quite tight, I think it'd be okay with just the one that can't go anywhere. Uh, um, the other ones, we're just running a tap down there to clean the threads out. I think it's uh, mainly paint's got in there when they've, when they've re-sprayed it. Right, it's got that all wired. Um, it's going to dump, it's got two kilos in there. Yeah, we're going to dump two kilos in. Yeah, uh, see what it does. I'll change the oil in the back pump as well, that stinks. Change the compressor on a little packaging the other day and it's got that sort of burnt compressor smell. So uh, we'll get the pump nice and hot before I've left that running. Yeah, and then uh, see what it does. We're we'll gonna get about two kilos in there. Enough. Right, let's see what it does. Right, 
20 or something it was pulling when it was seized up. See much in there without a torch. It's getting warm. It's getting cold. The brush is being dusty. Thank you. 